this is Spencer the Online Nation, aka Budaman. Uh, I'm just doing a quick video here on just some of my personal driving tips for driver uh, San Francisco. Um, and I was just going through some of the uh, Breaking Point podcasts I haven't listened to. Um, and uh, to freak so I was complaining about it. And I just remember when I was first started playing the game, uh, having the same complaints about it. And, uh, so I just want to give some of my tips on uh, how the game is uh, a little more enjoyable now for me, uh, now that I play it this way. First off, I did uh, change some of the button mappings. Um, which I changed the um, the RAM to X. Which <clears throat> I forgot what it was before, but um, I like it better there. I, I feel like I have more control over it. And I'll show you that later. And then the boost I put to the left bumper. Um, obviously here I'm using a controller, but I did that because I, I found driving with the pushing the joystick up for the boost was causing me a lot of issues. Um, and so some other things had to be changed, but the uh, only problem with that is if you do use the hints, um, I Obviously, it's not mapped to X anymore. Um, I mapped the hints to select, which is also to change the cameras. So that could be a problem for you. And obviously, X no longer works for what they're telling you. Um, so if you're entering a garage, um, if you have X set to something else, it's not going to enter unless you hit uh, whatever button you remap that to which for me is select. And so, let's get back in that car. So easily just some of the things I uh, started doing, which once stay off grass, um, is I noticed in the opening sequence on the bridge, um, you actually should see him pumping his brakes a lot, weaving in and out of traffic, and that's really a good a way to apply that to this. Um, it's You don't necessarily need the brake, uh, it does slow you down a lot more than it needs to. You can apply it a little softer uh, if you're using a controller with uh, good pressure sensitive triggers. But I find um, actually tapping the gas can be useful. So just keep in mind, I'm trying to talk about this while doing it. It's kind of does make it a little bit harder. But uh, yeah, instead of uh, holding down keys, I find kind of giving it a feathery kind of tapping will give you a lot more control. And you got to keep in mind, uh, get back control here. Um, the speeds that you're going. I think that's easy to forget, and it does throw you out of control uh, very easily. If you forget that you're going 80 and you slam on the brake. Um, yeah, so, like I said, just a uh, nice feathery touch to the gas and brake. Typically give you a lot more control over the vehicle. Um, when you find your tires are spinning a lot, uh, just letting off the gas for a second and kind of feathering your way back in. We take control over the vehicle. Um, it helps a lot in the dirt too. Uh, you won't slide as much. Because uh, your tires start spinning, you stop it. Um, and you get them spinning again. And it will give you more grip on the dirt. So that's that. Um, 
it, you don't really suffer speed wise too much feathering it uh, you stop increasing obviously but you won't drop as much as if you apply the break a little bit um, <clears throat> another thing that's important to learn early on in this game is to back up efficiently because uh, you'll get spinned out spun out a lot by other cars and, uh, and it's easy to just whip your car around in reverse and then do a 180 and start going the direction you're heading again but a lot of times you'll get this kind of spin out effect and again that feathering the gas um, really hate helps take control So that's what uh, with me feathering the gas and then try to uh, it's just applying the gas and it does not work. You're just gonna go all over the place. And say I feathered the gas out of it. Um, yeah, same thing with dripping. Wish that was a terrible drift, but Ignore that example. Um, Alright, so I just want to show you um, oh, right. why I like Sorry. having the RAM map to X. Um, it's mostly to. <laughs> and uh, yes, more performance vehicles, uh, you actually re retain a good deal of control. And you do increase speed while you're in this mode. Uh, this isn't the best car for it. it it's going to start sliding a lot if I turn too much. But on a straightaway, you'll actually gain a lot on uh, if you're pursuing someone or even in races. Um, and it's actually pretty good for weaving in and out of traffic. Um, you just got to make sure when you come out of it, you're where you want to be. Because uh, you are going to apply the brake right after, and you don't have a choice in that. So, it's a good idea to, on if you're in a race, get behind a racer, or while pursuing, obviously, slam into him. Just gonna finish this off real quick. And after coming in head on traffic, it's a lot easier to hit him head on. Um, because you do have that. I just find it was easier to hold down X and continue driving in this mode. Uh, hold it together, John. Uh, it's actually <clears throat> pretty good in if you're running away too. Uh, like I said, I actually find it a lot easier to weave in and out of traffic. And if you do get into an issue where you're being spun out, um, oh, I let go too soon. Uh, I was going to say, uh, if you do get spun out, you can actually keep holding on to it and just stay in that mood. And you do pick up speed a little faster and see straight away as I find it. It's pretty good for weaving in and out because it almost slows everything down just a tiny bit. I remember you can use the brake and this is as long as you hold down your ram button the whole time. Uh, you can literally do this for as long as you can keep your finger down. Um, Actually, it can be pretty useful. Um, if you're playing with a controller, though, you might want to turn the vibrate function off just because it's going to continuously vibrate and that could become kind of awkward, I guess. Yeah, so, that's just my quick uh, tips on this game. Alright, thanks for watching.